What's up everyone, welcome back to the Gadget Channel and well, we are back to the usual white background, no more flowerish background like previous video. Wow, oh, scared me. And the instant I thought that YY sounds going to appear out of nowhere like previously our other video. You feel like going to sleep in the living room tonight, is it? Well, things never get old, right? Today, we are going to review the Vico Ufield Go, one of the brother sister model from the Ufield series. Let's check it out. Like other Ufield series phone from the Vico, the Ufield Go features a fingerprint sensor charm home button at center. It might not be the blazing fast nor faster fingerprint sensor around, but it does the work. Same goes to the customization via the fingerprint sensor. As usual, Vico did a great job in keeping the phone in premium look despite it is only affordable budget smartphone. The Vico U Field Go has curvy edge design on body and screen which kinda remind me of iPhone. On front, you get the very same 5 inch IPS dis LCD display with 720p resolution and also full lamination. Not to mention, the 5 megapixel front facing camera and also flash for selfie purposes. The design language for Vico has been consistent so far with the left side of the phone is clean. On bottom, you have micro USB slot located on left side instead of center. Top, we have both 3.5mm headphone jack. Remaining right side are the volume rocker and also power button. On the back, you get the primary 13 megapixel camera and also a very large speaker at the bottom. Removing the cover, you see a very huge 4000mAh battery. Do the same slot and also micro SD slot. Not to mention, the back cover is fully made by metal. Very premium indeed. The Ufield Go came with the MediaTek MT6735 quad-core with 1.3GB, 2GB of RAM, and also 16GB internal storage. Not to mention, this is marshmallow-ready smartphone. As for the performances, not the fastest nor smoothest experience, but it's just sufficient and good enough with minimal stutter and lag. Apps launch not instant, but speedy enough to react. The Wiko Ufield Go has no problem handling games in your app store too. Nothing much to shout on the camera, as you can see it is usual quality a Wiko smartphone can perform. But, the camera interface for the Ufield Go is different than others. It has brand new user interface and more intuitive. Just swipe to left to camera setting and you can see all the cute icons. Swipe to right and you can change camera mode here. Of course, Pro Mode is presented, though you can adjust camera's shutter speed. Finally, swipe to up and you're switching between front and back camera. For the first time, I've seen a 4000mAh battery in a Wiko smartphone. And I have to admit, the battery life is very good indeed. With my usual habit of using a smartphone from 10 to 7, the Wiko you feel go feel like a champion. Because by reaching home, and at the end of the day, the battery remaining in the Wiko you feel go is fourth, in between 40 to 50%. Very impressive indeed. I've been praising Wiko over and over and over again for the build quality and also the design. Then again, it is really not disappointing even on a budget smartphone. The Wiko you feel go offer a very nice fingerprint sensor and also a very huge capacity battery. And all this is only for 599 ringgit Malaysia. And of course, you get the standard accessories coming together with in the box, including the casing, screen protector, and also SIM card your SIM card adapter. Alright, that's all my review for today. Thanks for watching my review and I'm taking opportunity to wish all the DGadget fans a very happy Chinese New Year. Please do drive safe and also don't grow fat, yeah? Anyway, stay tuned to our Facebook page because who knows, you might be the lucky one to win our Wiko You Feel Go here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the, share the and subscribe the. See you on next video. Peace. Yo guys, don't forget to check out our other video as well, only in the Gadget channel.